everybody. Welcome back to the House of Flats and Fluff. My name is Carrie. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, so this is a channel that is mainly about cross stitch. Every now and then I might throw in some punch needle or some hand embroidery or even possibly some knitting. You just never know. But it's mainly about cross stitch. And it has been quite a while since I have recorded and uploaded a, video, a new video. Uh, I believe my last video was out sometime around the 1st of December. Uh, and today it is Tuesday, May 5th. So yeah, I hope everyone out there is doing well. I know things are kind of crazy right now. Um, we're not going to get into that because we certainly get enough of that from every place else. Um, but I hope you all are doing well out there. So just some real quick life updates. Like I said, there's really not a whole lot going on. But we did have a few birthdays um, since my last video. So my son had a big birthday. Um, he turned 16 at the end of March, which, yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm not ready for him to be 16, but he is. Whether I'm ready or not, he is. Um, so overall, he had a good day. I mean, it wasn't quite what we had originally planned, but he did get, you know, some nice presents. He got to pick out, he got to pick out his own, his own stuff, what he wanted, because, you know, that age, I forget trying to pick anything out myself. Um, he picked out what cake he wanted. We ended up having tacos in it for dinner, which is one of his favorite things. So it was an overall a good day. Um, other than that, he has just been busy with school. Um, they've been doing the long distance online school um, since they got out in March. And he has definitely, he's actually admitted to me that he's ready to go back to regular school. I never thought I'd hear those words. Um, I think he misses his friends and he's kind of like me. Um, I did a few online courses when I went to college and I didn't like them. Um, I much preferred being in a classroom and he seems to be that way too. So, you know, but other than that, he's doing well. Uh, Hubby has just been busy with work. He's considered an essential employee. So he's been working and like I said, it's been, it's been very busy. So I know that's mainly what he's just been doing is busy with work and then relaxing when he gets his time off. Um, as for me, honestly, my schedule has probably changed the least because I've worked from home for the last seven years, going on eight years. So for me, not a huge change. Um, the biggest thing is that I started doing the um, uh, post office pickup where you can schedule during when they come to drop off your mail, you can schedule them to pick up your packages. Uh, that's been nice. I like that because there are just some days where I'm like, you know what? I don't really want to go out anywhere, even if it's just down to the post office. So that's nice. That that may stay <laughs> moving forward. Um, and then lastly, the last member of the family that, that had a birthday um, was our Newfoundland uh, Lucy. She turned three. So in giant breed terms, she's now fully grown, I guess. So um, she's between 110, 115 pounds. So she's pretty much done growing now. Um, so yeah, so she's doing good. Um, again, for her, this is not a change. She's used to me being home all the time. So this is just another Tuesday for her. <laughs> okay. So I think that's, that's everything. Like I said, not a whole lot really going on. So let's dive in to what I've been working on because it has been four months. Um, I do not have any of the finishes that I had done in December, I don't have them with me. So what I'll do is I, cause I always insert pictures um, in the beginning of my video and at the end of my video. So at the beginning of this video, you will see um, some pictures of the finishes that I had in December since I didn't get to share them with you. So um, the other thing moving forward is that I'm hoping to be able to do videos on a monthly basis. And I also, that, the reason for that is that it kind of fit, it fits in better to how I have been stitching this year. So I kind of made some changes this year. First thing I did, which was, this is just kind of crazy for me because I usually am not overly organized, especially when it comes to my hobbies, but I went ahead and I made a list of my whips. Okay. I'm not going to show you guys the number. We're, we're just going to say it's between 50 and 100 or somewhere in there. Um, I'm not worried. I, I didn't make the list because I was concerned about the number of whips. Um, I'm one of those that I, I don't care if I have three whips going or 300 whips. As long as I'm enjoying stitching, that's all that matters. So 
the reason I did the list is because I have found that I like, I like having lists when I work. So I have an Etsy shop. Main item I sell in my Etsy shop are painted mason jars. And those jars are painted once an order is placed. So I work from monthly lists, daily worksheets. You know, sometimes I have to break it down weekly, depending on how busy it is. And I feel really accomplished at the end of the day when I look at my worksheet and I'm like, oh, wow, look at all everything I checked off. Look at all the stuff I crossed off. So I thought, hey, why don't I try doing that with some of my whips and maybe get some things done this year? You know, I have no number in mind of how many things I want to get done. Whatever I get done, I get done. So far, it seems to be working pretty good. The other reason I did that is because I just needed to go through my whips. Uh, if you have followed me at all for the last, or you know, if you followed me the last couple of years, you can see in my videos that my style of stitching changed a lot. And so I had a lot of whips that I just, I wasn't ever going to finish them. Um, I was able to adopt out a whip to um, a friend, which, you know, to my, I shouldn't say friend, it's like my best stitchy friend. Um, I was able to adopt out a whip to Jen, which is great. Um, and then I was also able to go through, there were some projects where I loved the pattern. I just didn't like the fabric I had picked or I didn't care for the floss. So I'm going to change those things out and hopefully renew my interest, um, in those patterns. So overall it was, it was a good, you know, it was a good way to clean out things and just kind of take note of what I have. The other thing that happened is I kind of fell into a rotation. Now, normally whenever I have set out, I'm sorry, you might hear her scratching. <laughs> you might hear the dog scratching. Um, so if you're new to my video, sometimes she makes an, Lucy will make an appearance in my videos and sometimes you just hear her in the background. Um, it's springtime, so she's a little itchy. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. I fell into a rotation. Uh, normally when I try to do rotations, it usually ends up killing the desire that I have to stitch. It either all together, just I have no desire to stitch, or it kills the desire to stitch on those pieces that I have put into that rotation. This has just kind of happened organically, and so far it's working. So we're into May, so I'm into five months of this, and so far it's been working pretty good. So the rotation is simple. It's four pieces. The first piece is a monthly series that I'm working on. The second piece is a whip, and the only criteria for that whip is that it's something I could conceivably have done or finish within that month. And then the remaining um, two slots are just simply whatever I want, whether it's a new start or another whip, it doesn't matter. And like I said, so far that's working. Um, so that's also going to play into how I organize my videos from now on. So instead of, you know, just throwing all of the whips together or all of the new starts, um, it's just going to go by month. So it'll be more prevalent in like this video because I'm going to show you guys everything that I worked on in January, whether it's completed or not completed or what have you, as long as I finish the stitching or I stitched on it in January, I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay. Um, so if I'm able to do videos every month, that won't matter quite as much. But, um, the other one, the other thing is haul. Okay. You guys, um, I'm not going to put you guys through like five months worth of haul. I mean, yeah, that would just be a whole nother video in and of itself. Um, I did pull out a few things to show you guys. Um, and then probably going forward, I don't know how much haul I'm going to put into videos anymore, but we'll see. Okay. So we're just going to play that by ear. And it is like eight minutes in and I haven't shown you guys anything yet. So let's do that. Let's get into what I've been working on. So this is for the month of January. And I'm going to start by showing you guys the monthly series that I started. I've been looking for monthly series for a really long time. And I found this one. So someone had actually finished um, the month of December and had posted it on Facebook. And I fell in love with it, looked up the series, and I loved the whole series. So this is um, Snapshot Series from Pine Mountain Designs. And I got them on 123 Stitch. I think they're still available on there. But I love the long underwear. I thought those were just so cute. And of course, the snowman. Okay, so this is my version. And isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Okay, so I did change the colors. Um, the called for in this, I believe they're all DMC. Um, and so I used some DMC. I used 
some Cosmo threads and I used some hand dyed. So I did a mix. But I stayed pretty true to what the called for colors were. The only other change that I decided to make, and I'm doing this in, in the entire series, is I received the 35 DMC, the tin of the 35 DMC Etoile colors. And so I'm trying to replace one or two of the colors in here with the DMC Etoile. So for this one, I replaced this beige snowflake. I don't know if that's going to show up at all. Um, that's got the Etoile. And then I replaced the icicles and the snowflakes in the January block with the white DMC Etoile. And I did stitch this on 32 count, and they're all stitched on 32 count in case I forget to say that. This is 32 count um, Zweigart uh, Petit Point fabric. And the called for of this was, it is, the called for is Petit Point, it's just the witch lip. So just a different brand. But I love that. So obviously I have not figured out how I'm going to fully finish them. Still working on that. But very cute. Okay. So the next piece, this is a fully finished item. This was a long standing whip that I finally got done. And this is Barbara Anna, I Give You My Heart. I believe I started this last year in January. It was my first time ever stitching on 40 count. And I kind of, I became obsessed with 40 count after this one. I love it. I did change all the colors to um, hand dyed threads, but I stayed pretty close to the called for in tone and shade, but I love it. So I named her Fiona and in my world, she is the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. She is the Mad Hatter's girlfriend. And then, so I finished her in a grapevine wreath. And what I did is I um, used just some of the interfacing that is, um, feels like plastic almost, but it sticks two pieces of fabric together. So this is just a blue gingham. And then as you can see, I very roughly uh, sewed her into the wreath. And then these are just a whole bunch of silk flowers and stuff that I had found. And then there are on the side here, I don't know if we're gonna be able to pick up. Oh, see, there are keys. There are actually three keys all the way along down here and they're kind of hidden in there. And so I thought that was really kind of cool. So I love her. I'm so happy to have her done though. I'm thinking though I might need to add another white flower like right here. I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll see. And then you can tell my shelves behind me are very bare right now because like everything that fills in these spots is on my table. So yeah, my poor shelves. Okay, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I don't know if she'll sit there or not. Nope, she's not gonna sit there. Oh, I don't have enough room. <laughs> this always happens, I never have enough room. Okay, okay, next one is, Sorry, I gotta get something to put behind it because it's a very, very light linen. Okay, so this is another finish. Okay, and this is Three Snows. This is by Lindy Stitches. And it is from, okay, I'm not sure if it's the 2018 or 2019 spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. It's one of those. I'll have to look it up when I'm done with the video and I'll put it at the bottom here. But isn't it adorable? So again, these are not the called for colors. I pulled what I had, but they're very, very close to the called fours. And I did change, I instead of stitching another large snowflake like this one, I just went ahead and stuck a button on there. And this is a 32 count sapphire linen, I think. It's beautiful, but I love it. Um, and I'm thinking about finishing this into a drum. I'm not sure though. We'll see. Okay, and the last piece that I finished for January. So yes, I had four finishes for January, which is awesome. Okay, so this is from Misty Purcell on Luminous Fiber Arts. This is called, um, hold on, A Bluebird's Message. I actually had to take notes this time. And oh, isn't it? I just love it. I'm so happy with how this turned out. So I stitched this again on the 32 count petite point fabric. 
I did, again, I didn't use any of the call for colors, but again, I did try to pick things that were similar, especially with the bird. Um, this really pretty variegated, this is from Kathy, um, Dying for Cross Stitch on Facebook. Um, so this, the border color is from her, and so is the color that I used for the Be Mine. And then I think the bird and the rest of the heart, those are a combination of most sale and Victorian motto. And then of course I went and used another button because, well, number one, I like buttons. <laughs> As you can tell in my finish, I like buttons. But I also, when I get towards the end of a piece, I'll, I'll be honest, I get a little lazy and I'm like, I just want to be done with it. So sometimes I'll just put a button. If a button fits there, you know, why not? I have, instead of stitching the heart, I'll just stick a heart button on there. And then I fully finished it. This is one of the plywood, um, unfinished wood pieces that you can get at Walmart. And I took two pieces of sticky board. Um, this is a fabric. It's kind of a brown fabric with writing on it. Put that down, put the piece on top. And I did put a little bit of batting. <laughs> words, words are hard. Um, I put a little bit of batting on here just to poof it just a little bit. And then this trim, this is chenille trim from, again, from Kathy at Dying for Cross Stitch. It's just so cute. And then again, I got the Love cutout here from Walmart, painted it a vintage rose uh, color, distressed it, and then I very lightly uh, whitewashed it. And then I just made some little felt hearts and strung it all together. And there are some little mini clothespins on there too. Painted a few of them and left a few of them just plain. So, so that was Mar or March. That was January. So four finishes in January. I was really, really happy with that. Um, like I said, all, basically everything I started, for the most part, I finished, which is awesome. Okay, so moving on to February. Okay, so first we'll do the monthly series. So this is the February snapshot. That'll pick that up. There we go. Very pretty. Um, this one used, so this one used some fancy flosses. And I, mm, I don't think I used any of the called for flosses on this one. Again, I changed. Okay, and this is a very light linen, so I need something behind it. I'm not sure which linen, I think this is just a cream Zweigart linen. There is mine, and I love it so much. Um, I, I honestly, I have no way, I can't even remember what all threads I used in here. There's Cosmo threads, there's hand dyed threads, a little bit of everything, and then the for the etoile portion i did this dark this darker red here and it's in the heart and right up there too so that was where i put the etoile in this one i love it the birds i think are my favorite and then so as i've been stitching this i couldn't figure out what this part why this there was this big pink part here until finally i had it all stitched and done i swear it took me about a, a week or so to finally look at it and be like Oh, that's the bottom of the heart. Oh, some days my brain just says, you know what? We're not going to fully fire for you, but it's gorgeous. I love it. This one was one of my favorites, I think. No, it was. It, it, it was one of my favorites to work on. The colors are just so pretty in it. Okay. Next finish. Oops, sorry. Next finish was Love Grows Here. Sorry, I have to look at my notes because I do not remember most of this <laughs> anymore. So this is called Love Grows Here. This is from Rovaris or Rovaris. Again, I changed all the colors. Just assume I'm going to change all of the colors because I like to use fancy floss that I have. And it's a combo. Uh, the blue, this is a Cosmo thread. I just love it. I honestly, I have no idea what fabric this is. When I pulled it, I thought it was a 32 count, but as I was stitching it, I think it actually might be a 36. I, I don't know, but it worked really well for this. I love the little birds. So I'm very happy with that. Now I just have to figure out how I'm going to fully finish it. Okay, and the last finish, this is called um, Wool Keeper. Isn't it cute? Um, this is from Teresa Koga. And it's from the 2019 summer issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. Summer issue? 
yes, summer issue. Look at those sheep. How cute are they? They took forever. <laughs> they really did. Uh, and again, I used, I think the her dress is a Mo sale. Her smock here is Kathy dying for cross stitch. The sheep are Mo sale. Um, the black part, the faces and the boots, those are Cosmo black, I think. But she's so cute. And this is a 32 count, like a rose linen, I think. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Bad, right? I didn't write down, I did not write down fabric. I should have written down the fabrics that I used. I didn't think about that. Okay, and so February was the first month where I ended up with a leftover whip. So I went ahead and I pulled out, I think I have a picture of it. I do. Okay, so this is, oops, sorry. I don't know if I showed the pattern there or not. Um, this is Angela from Snowflower Diaries. And I did get quite a bit more done on her. I just didn't get her finish finished. Okay. So, oops, and there, and there goes my wreath. <laughs> so this is Angela. And like I said, I got quite a bit done. I finished her dress. I did quite a bit of the border. I started putting in the alphabet. So overall, not too bad. And I, I don't remember what fabric this is on. It's a 32 count. And again, I'm not using any of the call for colors. I'm whatever I had on hand. I think the border is being done in a Rolanda. Her dress was actually done in a Mo Sale silk. So, but overall it's very cute. And this was one of my Christmas presents. This is, um, the Doodlin, um, Doodlin Around designs one of their lap stands. So, and I don't know, I think I like it. <laughs> I'm just so used to stitching with a hoop, um, that it's a little bit different to get used to, but I'm liking it. So, but yeah, so she's very cute. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have her finished at some point this year. So hold on before I kill my plant. Okay. There she goes. Okay. There's that. Try to pick up, make my mess a little bit smaller as I go along here. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Oh, so not bad. So February I had three finishes and progress on one whip. So not too bad. Okay, so on to March. March was the banner month. And we're going to start with the fully finished stuff because that's what is sitting on top. So we have, this is Spring Basket. This is from Barbara Anna and it's from the 2019 spring issue of Punch Needle, um, Punch Needle and Permusager magazine. Isn't that adorable? And this is my first time working on 46 count. This is a 46 count fabric from Kathy at Dying for Cross Stitch. And actually, I love 46 count. I was shocked. I thought I was going to have a really hard time with it, but it actually wasn't too bad. It's adorable. I think it turned out so cute. Again, I changed all the colors. I, don't, I have no idea. I don't know what I used. I just know I changed them. And then this, I found this, it's like a chalkboard um, in the middle part here. I, I don't know. I got it at Walmart uh, and I knew I could use it for some sort of cross stitch finish. And, you know, lots of buttons, big bow, my typical types of finishes because that's what I like. Okay, and then we have, this is Spring in My Heart from Barbara Anna. And this is from the 2020 spring issue. So the most recent issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. And oh my gosh, have you guys seen the preview for the summer issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine? I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. So many cute things. But anyway, back to this one. Isn't this adorable? I love this. I love Barbara Anna. Um, this is a 40 count. I don't know. I think it might be a hand dye by Rolanda. I love it. And again, I did change all the colors because, you know, why not? And so I finished this into a hoop. I did not paint the hoop or anything. I just left it regular. It's got the felt around the back. We had a double bow. And then I had these really cool kind of vintagey buttons 
And so those are on there. And then I had another key. So I love it so much. I love it. I love Barbara Anna's stuff. You guys know that. And then we have Hedgehog House. And so this is from that same um, 2020 spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. This is by Lindy Stitches. How cute is this? Look at her. Henrietta the Hedgehog. I did not name her, but it, Lindy named her Henrietta. Look at how adorable she is. Um, and so this is a new series. So I cannot wait for the next one. Um, it's patriotic. It's got, if I remember correctly, it's got an eagle. Oh, I can't wait. And I went and bought another um, tobacco basket. It's um, blue. So for the next one. So this is finished in a hoop. And then I put lace around the hoop. And then it's just, um, and then it's hot glued into the tobacco basket that I got at Walmart. And then it's got, of course, the bow and the button. And then a couple, three, yeah, three little cotton. Little cotton tufts, aren't they? Oh, I just love it. And then I, I did put a little hanger because I've got a little, I got a little hanger back there. One of those little clear command hooks. And so it just hangs back there. I'm so happy with it. And again, this is, oh, this is a 40 count. Um, this is mallow linen that I got from 123 Stitch. And of course, I changed all the colors because, you know. But again, I stayed pretty close to the call force. Okay. So now we come on to the, we come up on the snapshot for March, which I love this one. I loved the sheep and the tiger, or tiger, lion, sorry. I love those. Okay, so here is mine. And again, stitched on a 32 count. Huh. Isn't it gorgeous? Of course I say every time I do one, it's my favorite month. I don't know. I don't know which, they're all my favorite when I'm working on them. So this is 32 count vintage country mocha linen. And I did use, I think I used some of the called fours in this. There, yeah, I did. Um, I even bought, so I bought, these are all the called for colors here in the kite because I loved them. So I bought all the called fours in, that are in the kite. Uh, and I think I used most of the called for DMC in the lion as well. And then the etoile are the two greens. So there's two different shades of green there. Those are the DMC Etoile. That's where I put them in. So I love it. Oh, and then this border here for uh, for each picture, the border is a Mosel floss. But yeah, oh, this block took me forever, but it was so worth it once it was done. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I really have to figure out how I'm gonna fully finish these. I figure as long as I can get them all stitched, this year, that's my goal. And then next year will be, you have to figure out how you're gonna fully finish them. Okay, oh, what else? Oh, so I did go ahead, and I know um, there has been a lot of the um, Be Well and Stitch patterns. It's a hashtag on Instagram. And I don't know, I don't know what designer started it. I, I believe it started, they were talking about it at the Nashville market. Um, but anyway, so a lot of designers have come out and made free patterns with some way of saying be well, um, be well and stitch, be well and stay home, all different sorts of things. So this is my little contribution and it is be well and love your pets. And so that is my freebie pattern. Um, you can find it on my blog. You can also find it on my Instagram. So I stitched that up and I stitched this up in a day. Um, and I think, yes, I did use all DMC in this. And this was just a... Uh, 28 count Monaco that I hand dyed. So, so that was my little contribution to the be well and stitch hashtag. Okay. So last finish, I think, yep, this is my last finish. This is called springtime. It is by Subrosive Designs and it is from the 2017 spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. And I'm sorry, I did not get a chance to iron this one yet but I love it. Oh my God. I am so thrilled. Sorry about that. I'm so thrilled with how this one came out. 
every time I look at this, I fall in love with it more and more and more. This was a really enjoyable stitch. Uh, this was one where I would actually go and stitch it again, which is saying something. Because normally, I once I stitch something once, I don't ever want to stitch it again. Not because I didn't like it. I just don't like stitching things twice. This one, I would actually stitch twice. It's just so pretty. Again, I changed everything. but um, And this is a 40 count Lugana and kind of a buttercup yellow. This was a hand dyed by Kathy um, Fabrics. So. And I, I have an idea of how I'm going to fully finish it. We'll see if that idea works out. Sometimes I have these amazing ideas and they just don't pan out. Okay. I did have a whip that I pulled out um, in March. And I did not get it done. I pulled out Indigo Lane from Brenda Gervais. And I put in some more stitches into it. Um, and so there it is. I put in a lot of the tree. And the reason I didn't finish this, because I, I probably could have, is that I miscounted somewhere in this tree. It is so off that it just was bothering me and I just had to put it away. So I am hoping to get this done this year. I just have to buckle down and forget about the mistake. It, you can't really tell. So I, I just need to put it out of my head and just finish it. But it is a beautiful piece. And I would like to have it done. The, the part I laugh though, so I laugh because when I started this, I did not make a working copy. So I did not, I didn't highlight as I went at all. And I didn't have a single mistake. When I pulled this back out, I made a working copy so I could highlight as I went. And that's when I made the mistake. Go figure, right? You try and do it the correct way or you try and do it the way that you're going to not have a mistake. Yeah, whatever. Okay, and last month, we are into April. April was a good month, too. Um, so, up first is my fully finished. This is The Key from Barbara Anna. Um, and remember how I talked about the Be Well and Stitch hashtag? This was one of the freebies that Barbara Anna had designed for that. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, this is a 46 count, not 46 count, I'm sorry. It's a 40 count. Mm, sea foam. It is an R and R linen. I cannot remember exactly the color, but it's just so pretty. And I, so I changed all the colors in this one, and I really changed her. Um, I left the vines and the flowers are pretty similar to the called for, but I totally changed up her. So I made her kind of a buttercup yellow instead of white. Um, her dress is completely different. I totally changed this part down here because um, I used the variegated, so I had to put in some of the back stitching. Um, there is no back stitching um, in the in the pattern, um, so I added that because I love her. And then um, when I fully finished this, I went ahead and I painted, I stenciled, um, and painted this love on here which was a little scary to do. I've never painted on fabric before, but it came out really nice. And then I did paint the frame. It's kind of a gray, grayish color. And then we have got just tons of flowers and bows everywhere. And I will say, I don't like hot glue. <laughs> I burned myself. I don't know if you can see it. I burned myself like really bad. I've never done, I've never burned myself quite that bad before, but one of these flowers, I had the hot glue on there and it fell and I went and grabbed it, not even thinking about it, and put my finger right into the freshly, you know, I had just freshly applied that hot glue and yeah, but it was worth it because it's adorable and I love it. So that is the key. Okay. And then we'll do the April snapshot, which how cute is that? Look at those bunnies. They're so cute. Okay. And again, um, let's see, this one has, has Weeks, General Arts, DMC. I used, I actually did use quite of the call for colors in this because I just like the call for colors. And there's mine. Aren't they adorable? Oh, I just love them. So this is a 32 count. I think this is a Lugana 
like a stone color. I can't remember exactly. I think I got it from 123 Stitch. And the border, that is a Mo sale. And then for the etoile, I had a really hard time figuring out where to put the etoile because I liked the called for colors so much, I wanted to use them. So I used the etoile. This is $37.99. And this was actually the called for gray. I just used the etoile version instead. Look at that puddle. Oh my God, I, love I just love everything about this. And then, so the bunnies were supposed to have French knot eyes. And I started putting in French knot eyes. And my French knot eyes did not look the same. Each one was a little bit different and it was frustrating me. So I had these little, um, they're like, they're like little rhinestones, but they got the sticky on the back that you can use for scrapbooking. And so I stuck them on there and I think they're adorable and they made it through being ironed and everything. So I think those babies are stuck on there really well, but I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Like I said, each time I work on a month, it becomes my new favorite. So I'm very happy with that one. Okay. And then let's see. Oh, so this was a market purchase. This is the um, Celebrate 15 Years of Needlework from Teresa Koga. And I went ahead and I stitched this one. It's called Stairway to You. And it's, oh, it's so pretty. Look, oh, I love it. So this is a 36 count, I have no idea. It's a 36 count, I'm sorry, I don't know the color or the maker of the fabric. And I stitched, most of it two over two. Um, I, I tried one over two and it just didn't look right. And again, I changed the colors, but once again, I stayed fairly close to the called fours. So this house, this is what probably most people have asked me what the color is. And that is a Threadworks. And it is Threadworks number 1098, I believe. I love it. It is so pretty. And look at these little little sheep. Um, so the color, the white that I used, hold on, I can tell you, because it's actually, this is funny, or at least I think it's kind of funny. Okay, so the called for white in here was um, Classic Color Works Antique Lace. And so what I did, I had uh, Gentle Arts Antique Lace, and so that's what I used. And I actually really like the variegation that are in the sheep. They're not all totally pure white, which is, I, I just think it's really cool. So, but I love it. I love it so much. I mean, I love Teresa Koga patterns anyway, and the red for that just worked out so perfect. So I can't wait to finish that. Okay, and the last two, these are smaller finishes. Um, so this one is called Cream, and this is from um, Stitching with the Housewives. Priscilla and Chelsea, and this is part of their What's in My Cup series. And so I changed everything about this. So this was stitched on a 40 count. Um, this is the same piece that I stitched um, the key from Barbara Anna on. And I used um, Dinky Dye Silks for this. And I changed the cup was a white. I changed mine to red. And I made my cows into black and white cows or in his case, a white and black cow, uh, because my husband grew up on a dairy farm. So, and then I did use, I used a uh, silver, it was a gray, so I think it was like 415, or one of the very light grays, um, a toile. So it's got a little bit of sparkle in the, in the pail or the bucket, whatever you wanna call it. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Um, and then lastly, this was another from Priscilla and Chelsea. This is Hello Spring. Oh, sorry. Apparently it does not want to make its debut on Celestube. But isn't that adorable? So again, this is that 40 count Buttercup Yellow Lugana. And I once again used Dinky Dye Silks. I changed my, the cup is, instead of being white, it is actually a very light blue. And then I made my hen kind of that red reddish brown color and I, I just love it. I'm so happy with it. It came out so cute. So, so overall a good, a good, 
good stitching month for April too. Had five finishes. Granted, a couple smalls and no whips for April. I did fail on that. I did, I did not do a whip in April, but I was very happy to get this one done. When I started that, I thought I was kind of overreaching and I might not be able to get that one done in a month, but I did. So it was actually a lot quicker than what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so last couple things, um, and then I'll show you guys a little bit of haul. Um, so I've been knitting. So if you watched my last video, I had just uh, started into the world of knitting. And so I've slowly but surely been knitting some things, and I found a pattern for a blanket. It is a patchwork blanket. So what you do is you make a 12 by 12 uh, knitted square, and then you'll put them all together. And so in total, there's 20 of them. Um, so it'll be four lengths and then five or four wide, five in length. And so these are just a few of the squares that I've done. As you can tell, I still have to uh, tuck in my ends and everything. Um, and this is just a very basic, just a knit stitch. It's, you cast on 30 and you knit it until it's a square. And so technically mine are not 12 inch squares. Mine are, I think, 11 and three quarters or something, which is fine. And my patchwork, uh, the pattern, which I will find the video that I watched with the pattern. I'll put that in the description box below in case anyone is interested. The pattern I think used three different colors. I'm using a whole bunch of different colors because when I think patchwork, I think a lot of colors. And so this is the one I'm currently working on. I absolutely love this green beautiful and then look at these gorgeous knitting needles so this was a Christmas gift from my husband he went and he bought me these absolutely beautiful um, wooden needles they are clicking sticks so I will put a link to the Etsy shop that he got these from they're beautiful I love them so he bought me this is a size 11 and he got me a size 10 and a 13 too so and then I happened to see this yarn at our wall our local Walmart that scrubby yarn so I was like you know what I'm gonna try it so I'm trying I've tried it and I'm making a little I don't know if it's gonna be a dishcloth or a washcloth or whatever and it is definitely not the easiest stuff to work with there's holes in here I, you can see I mean there's some holes in here where I've dropped stitches because I've picked up the little the little um, eyelets that are on here but you know it's a simple project it's just for me. So if it's not perfect, it's fine. Okay. So that's what I've worked on knitting. No punch needles to show you guys. I actually really have not been punch needling that much. I've been more focused on cross stitch. So lastly, just a couple um, little things that I have purchased. Um, so we have a local thrift store and they had posted these couple pieces um, on in their Facebook group. And I went and I had to grab them. They've actually been there for over a year. And so I, I'm pretty sure they're both Lizzie Kate. I know this is a Lizzie Kate because I've looked at this pattern before. And I'm almost positive this is a Lizzie Kate too. Aren't they adorable though? So I went, these were my first ever Save the Stitches. I love them. Okay, and then just two more. So this was, these were two more things that I got from Market. I actually got quite a few things from Market, but you know, you'll see them in, in upcoming videos. So these are Nikki, um, Nikki's creations. These are Celebrations Sheepish. Aren't those adorable? They're small too, so they should go pretty quick. And again, this is another Sheepish. Some more Celebrations. Aren't they adorable? Oh, they're so, so cute. And then I did snag one of the um, Sweet Land of Liberty from Blackbird Design. I've looked at this book before, and when it came back in print, I went ahead and grabbed one. Um, I think I got that from... Okay, these I ordered from Marie at Just Dead Needles, and this I ordered from Teresa, um, Kitten Stitcher. And then lastly, I will show you guys real quick, this is going to be the May Snapshot. So I have to be honest, I'm not looking forward to this one as much as I have some of the other ones. Um, number one, I'm not a huge fan of the bike. I'm just not. But I also have no idea what I would change that square to. So it's going to be the bike. So I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. 
all of the called for in this is DMC, so I'm sure I will be changing that. And then I did pick out my fabric because I'm hoping to start that today. And so this is 32 count. It's just called vintage, vintage linen. So good neutral. So I'm hoping to start that today and hopefully I will have it done in time for a video in June. All right. Well, okay. So that's everything. <laughs> so this ended up being a little bit longer than I thought, but of course we're covering four months worth of stuff. So I hope you guys all have an amazing upcoming month. Um, I hope you guys get in lots of stitching or knitting or just crafting. I hope you guys are able to do stuff that you enjoy, whether it's sitting, stitching, crafting, or being outside and gardening and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys, I also hope, I hope the weather is turning nice where you guys are. We are finally having some nice weather here. Took a little while, but it's, it's finally getting nice out there. Okay. So I'm just going to sit here and ramble <laughs> if I keep going. So I'm going to let you guys go. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys again in June. Bye, everybody.